Okay, so I just found myself a new battery. So I put that in there in the meantime, and I'm gonna see if it starts. Okay, so it's got a hard time keeping idle right now. It could be a chin, but then again, ECU must have completely died because um, it sat here for like six months. But it has really hard time keeping idle. Looks like RPM gauge doesn't work. But my foot's on the pedal right now, trying to keep the RPM up. I hear the blow off going off. I actually have a pixie tuner here. So now that the car is somewhat warmed up, it's starting to idle for me. And uh, RPM gauge is still stuck at 1500 RPM. And this is exactly one of the reasons why I'm swapping my gauge guides to the one uh, to speed hot gauges most likely. If not, at least um, fix the stock PCB unit onto the dash. But it looks like the car is starting to idle up for me. So I just noticed that it's got a, a Pexi actuated valve controller type R. Uh, I'm not sure what this thing does. I don't think it's hooked up right now because it's not coming on. And again, rotary guys, if you know what this does, let me know because it could potentially help with this idle issue. And for some reason, the RPM is at 2000 now. I feel like this is hooked up to the engine temperature or something. It's slowly rising, which doesn't make sense. But the car is revving now. And for some reason, engine RPM does not change here. That's weird. I'm gonna see if this is drivable. I'm gonna take it around for a spin. Oh, it sounds like it's idling okay. No leaks or anything. And there's no smoke, so that's a good sign. Now the car sounds like it's popping a lot, just idling. So I feel like there is a tuning issue. Which is okay, because I could get this retuned. That's not a big of a problem. Um, so let's see if I can get this out of here and go for a quick drive. The road are probably seized on here because it's been sitting here for months. So sorry guys, because I don't have uh, a mount for the camera. I'm just gonna drive in this out of nowhere today oh this is like near impossible driving with camera in my hand uh, uh, it's unfortunate that I forgot my camera mount but I'm gonna see what I can do here the brakes are just rusty because it's been on the car sitting for months let me see if I can boost it here. <laughs> okay, so that's what rotary sounds like. Sounds beautiful from inside a car. Actually, this is the first time I'm driving a rotary car. It sounds amazing. I'm actually quite enjoying this. It's unfortunate that the tech meter doesn't work because I would like to know where it's boosting and how it's reacting and the boost gauge doesn't seem to be working either. Oh, there's a, there's a little hesitation there. I think there's something wrong with the tune, to be honest. 
I'm gonna need to get this tuned if I get it. Now the common issue is the fifth gear grind. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the car in fifth gear. No problems. So fifth, fifth gear seems to be fine. Okay, so second and third and fourth gear seem to hesitate. It buckles like if you saw. First gear pulls just fine though. My second gear, when I try to do a pull in it, tends to go on and off. So I think that's the tune. Rotary sounds so good. I've never heard Rotary from inside the car. Uh, and sometimes when you're outside of Rotary car, it feels like uh, Honda. And no, no disrespect to you Rotary guys, but sometimes it's too high pitch of a noise for me. But when you're inside the car, it sounds really good. I'm gonna do a quick first gear pull again here. a VAFD <laughs> but that's okay so I'm gonna bring it back and uh, negotiate with a buy and see if I want to buy it for the right price so thanks again for watching guys I know there was a little issue up front and I don't have a camera mount so it might be a little a little bit of a pain in the ass to watch but uh, there's kids checking out the FD right now and it's awkward talking to camera but like I said sorry um, I couldn't record this like I usually do at the right angle with the right microphone but I hope you get an idea and if any of you FT guys know anything about these cars and uh, particularly about this car and what's under the hood and what's all these uh, issues I'm having that'd be great because by the time I post this video I will probably still thinking about purchasing the car so your inputs would be amazing so thanks for watching guys and see you guys in the next video